Hi, welcome to I'm New Exes. Yet another video. Not to rent video. Because the drama is so boring that there's literally nothing to rent about. Hi, you're watching Avenue X, where junkie and good storytelling shares her thoughts, knowledge, and occasional weird ideas on stories and how they're told. Guo Zijian, like a female student, a female student arrives at the Imperial College. This drama is led by Zhao Lusi, Xu Kaicheng, Ren Hao, favorite setting romantic drama, supposedly of Song Dynasty, but nothing of it looks anything like the actual dynasty setting. As the title suggests, very literally, a female student got into the Imperial College called Guo Zijian. This organization has existed for thousands of years in Chinese history. Through different dynasties, it kind of functions slightly differently. But if it's Song Dynasty, yes, such organization did exist. And it is the highest possible college for any students, aspired future officials to enter. And throughout Chinese history, never was there a girl who was allowed to enter such places, um, as you can imagine. So this is a fictional story. It started filming middle of September last year and wrapped in December. It is based on an existing web novel written by the author Hua Qianzi, and it was first published back in 2015. But the scriptwriters are different from the original author for this production, and it's produced by four companies, including Tencent, including this novel's original IP website, also including the company Linghe, which did Ultimate Note. Yeah, rather complicated investment scheme. Based on the first 10 episodes I've watched, I'll give it a one landmine rating on my seven level scale. Now comes to the part where I'm trying to find out what is the positive side of this drama. <laughs> If you like Zhao Lusi or Xu Kaicheng or Ren Hao, any of those specific actors who lead this drama, and you just want to look at them alive on screen and dressed up, if that makes you happy, you can go and watch this drama. If you like them, but then you don't really want to tarnish your memory of um, any of their previous stuff that you feel good about, don't watch this drama. If you compare it to last year's Tiger and Rose, which is also led by Zhao Lusi, the good thing about this drama is it is probably a bigger budget production. I mean, it's still on the low end in terms of period drama, and it's definitely a period romantic idol drama that is very quickly made, intended to uh, just make money, quick money, and definitely not intended for any other purposes. It's still, you can tell, for example, how many costumes each character has, what is the set looking like, how the details of things. It probably has a bigger budget than Tiger and Rose. Visual-wise, there's nothing that's super offensive. There's a level of detail that is more than Tiger and Rose, and it doesn't have the worst kind of lighting out there. Better than the Yoku Junjoling lighting, which is super offensive. What else? On the positive end of things. No. Okay, so now let's move to the part about why this drama doesn't even make me want to rant about it. This drama just gives you such a strong impression and signal that the storyteller do not care about the story. And they're so here to just make a supposedly looking like episodic drama so that um, they can get money back. I don't know how much they sold this for because Tencent is part of the investor and then he, it also airs it on its own platform. So I don't know who gets money from this game and what they're hoping for. Usually, no matter how ridiculous a drama or a film is, it has a story to tell. It has something to share with its audiences. It has at least a kind of purpose. But when you watch this drama, after 10 episodes, it's like it's filled with plot that you can totally predict. And everything happens in this drama, you've seen it in other dramas already. But then, what are the characters trying to do here? What the story itself is trying to make the audience feel. If it's a comedy, it just wants to make you laugh and it's being hilarious. Or if it has a kind of sarcastic tone on certain things and it's a level of social commentary, you can talk about Tiger and Rose being first. Very sarcastic look at how bad scriptwriters are these days and also on the uh, gender issue, which it just touched on it, right? Not anything deep, but still you can tell there, there's a purpose, a motivation for the writer of that story. Also for the characters, everybody has a very simple and clear goal. For example, Tiger and Rose, the female lead is to survive and get out of this story world that I'm not supposed to be in. But when you watch Imperial College female student, first 
None of the characters really have a clear motivation or a goal. The things that happens just happens in this drama. There's no purpose of everyone's story. And then as a drama itself, it really just has no idea about why it's there. I guarantee you, if you watch this drama after a couple of episodes, you'll totally get what I mean. Is nobody really does anything for anything. It just happens. And none of them can really stand the scrutiny of thinking through the logic behind it. For example, our female lead, why did she end up in a male college? It's because she got into a bed with another girl. But the ground for the bed to exist doesn't make sense. Like it, it doesn't need to have a bed. She doesn't need to do it. Like nobody can force her to do it. Just, just for no good reason. The scriptwriter probably just gave up on thinking through the logic of why people do things. They just say, because I said so. Male lead and female lead are destined for each other. This is just, yeah, expected. But the way it's executed is so lazy. They see each other. Ah, that's the, the slow motion, right? And then they accidentally got together and a guy, you know, somehow holds her waist in all kinds of accidents and incidents. Ah, slow motion turning circles, all those things, it's just like, come on. You don't even try to make it interesting. And all those conflicts that happens between the male lead and female lead that's supposed to make the relationship go a stage further, a stage further, also are so forced and happens for no good reason. It's not even funny. Okay, after watching 10 episodes, there's not even one moment that I really laughed at the ridiculous setting or any of people's comments. It's just not funny at all, not interesting, there's no chemistry, nobody does anything for any clear purpose. I don't know, this story has no direction. But it has scene after scene after scene stitched together, such as the girl is taking a bath and the guy just happened to run into it, such as they got trapped in the cave. Yeah, good time for them to be alone and everybody else is searching for them while they're having their um, alone time. <sighs> so characters lack motivation, do not know what they want to do, and then the story itself has no direction. It's not Cao Duo Wu Kou. Nothing is happening. So there's nowhere to bite on it, like a jellyfish that you can kind of see it's there, but you can't really bite on it because it slips away, that type of thing. It's really a new breed of useless, pointless drama. That's a total waste of uh, resources for that many people to actually come together for a couple of months, stuck in one place and getting it made. Oh, and probably one particular scene that is so funny is when the girl is having a bath. There are a couple of very close shots that's like chest up of the female lead. Look at what she looks like in that environment and her hair color and the hair and her robe. It looks like she's in the contemporary drama in the hotel who just came out of a bath. There's a painting behind her, you can see the frame. There's a darker colored door that really just looked like a hotel door and her hair and her makeup and her robe. There's nothing that tells you this is a Paris setting drama. And this is just how this drama doesn't care about details, about its time setting. It doesn't care, it doesn't put any effort. Ugh. I don't know, Tencent, shameless. And shame on you, Tencent, of being just so lazy. At the end of this, I do feel a little bit sad about Zhao Lusi. Since Tiger and Rose, she has been in quite a few different things, although it's not confirmed. Like, you can't go and ask exactly what happens, but it's pretty well known within the industry that ever since she got a little bit of popularity, her team has changed and her kind of plan of career has changed and it's deeply involved with Tencent stuff. But this year we've seen the Liu Liang, okay, the traffic thing is being hammered down from top down in ways that has never happened ever in China or anywhere else in this world really. And it's kind of unfortunate that only a year after she got a bit famous that this whole career plan kind of is not working anymore. She's been into productions one after another after another after another non-stop. When I first noticed her, that was actually before Chen Tiantian slightly, and I thought, oh, this is a really cute girl. She's from Sichuan. She is very linguistically talented. She can play music instruments and I like her face. And I had like uh, quite a bit hope for her. In the last year, she's been worked like a donkey with a platform, but probably that's also her own choice really to have this kind of career development line. And we're at the stage where she's been in too many bad dramas. It's quickly washing away people's memory of the good stuff that she's done before. The entertainment business is a cruel and ruthless place. If she keeps going down this route, 
her future career because you've been in that many this type of dramas then the really serious good productions in the future whether they would want to consider you to cast you in there this is just not a good career path if she's in it for the long run but if she's in it for the short run then getting money is probably the most important thing so can't can't really know which one is which i just feel a little bit sad i do see quite a bit potential earlier on in her i just feel it's really being used in the wrong way and this is not a jealousy centered video it just got to the point where it just started to freestyle at the end of this um not so ranting and um, first impression video of Guo Zijian, like a new dizi, female student arrives at imperial college unless you have very specific reasons i would highly recommend you save your time uh, invest it in doing something else walk your dog um do yoga clean your house sort out your wardrobe for the season change i mean whatever use the time to do those things it's m better spent than watching this drama i've already done that for you at my own expense <laughs> so you don't have to do it thank you for watching avenue x i'll see you in my next video meanwhile live long and happy drama watching